Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be talking about a kneeling bent press, but it's not a real bent press, it's a press from a bent position. What a real bent press is, is when you are pressing a weight that is too heavy to actually press, and you roll to the side and drop underneath the weight, and then lock your arm out and stand up using your abs. This is an old school strong man lift and you can find pictures of Sandow and all the famous strong men doing that lift in particular to lift things that look a lot like kettlebells that are really, really heavy, like 200 pounds, right? Crazy heavy weights. And that's how they could get those 200 pounds overweight with one hand. Old school lifting technique. What we are going to do is a kneeling breakout of the bent press where we're not using our abs to lift the weight. We are still doing a press, but we are doing it in a stable bent position. Continuing to work on our Turkish get up mastery in order to master any activity, you have to rip that activity apart into all its component pieces and then master each individual aspect of it. In the Turkish get up, a lot of people have a problem with this position here. So this is specifically what we are going to work on. We are going to get the weight up, with our kneeling clean position, our fingers are gonna be pointed towards the sky. We are gonna get our hand on the ground, find the ground, and we are going to get into a bent press position. But this is now a stable bent press position. We are making our body a bench, a bench in a really weird direction. Our elbow is going to be behind our body. And from here, we are going to press. Elbow tracks behind the body, press. Elbow tracks behind the body. Press. So we are breaking this out and we are working on just that press in that side position. You're gonna find that this is not a press that you've probably run into before unless you're a strong man or a huge kettlebell nerd. Because in the gym, you tend to press overhead or you press out in front. In a Turkish getup, you press, you sit up, you get to overhead. Somewhere in there, there's this position as you're transitioning through, which is shoulder strength. But now we're just gonna figure out how to get stronger in that transition by working that pure side press. All of your normal pressing dynamics apply. Your hand should be straight up and down. If you were to open your hand, your fingers should be pointed towards the sky. We are trying to avoid as usual, a barbell wrist because we're not using a barbell. The point of the kettlebell is that the weight is back behind you. And when you're in this position, the weight is actually sitting behind your body. We get to this position, the weight is actually behind us and it is pulling our chest open. It is pulling our shoulder open. Do not try this with a weight that's outside of your range of movement because it might snap your arm in half. <sighs> The kettlebell is still behind my body. My forearm is tracking vertically, but the weight is behind my body. In the interest of showing you this from all the angles, we're gonna flip it and do it on the other side to try and show you that the weight is actually behind you. So this has been our kneeling bent position side press, right? So don't get this mixed up with a side press or a bent press. This is a bent position press to the side. I think we're gonna figure out how to call this a better name eventually because I always try to include in the name exactly what the movement is just to be clear. Otherwise it gets really weird if you start trying to name everything after a country or a, a person. They just get really weird over time. So we always try to name things exactly what they are. If you have shoulders that have been messed up over time or if you have shoulder surgery, I highly, highly, highly recommend you start with a very light weight for this movement. Tracking your arm all the way behind you into this position is fairly difficult. And you will see that this position 
is very similar to the positions that you might use in physical therapy. It's the opposite of this position, right? And you will see people grab the band and do these exercises in order to strengthen their rotator cuff. This is a rotator cuff strengthening exercise that is just a press. If you have messed up rotator cuffs, start very, 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 very light. Kettlebells are cheap. Surgery is expensive.